The thing that probably annoys me the most is the lack of PPE or protective clothing at a crime scene. Sometimes I'll have a glove on or they'll maybe have a glove and a mask, but the reality is you would be fully dressed in PPE or you wouldn't get anywhere near a crime scene. And also there's a cast of thousands there. The, the whole thing about a crime scene is you do not want to contaminate it. You don't want to destroy any evidence. So protective clothing, things like tread plates, controlling who enters the scene, how you enter the scene, that's all really important. Um, and they all turn up looking incredibly glamorous in their nice clothes, whereas, you know, in reality, it's hot and it's sweaty wearing PPE and it's not glamorous at all. And up here, there's no flattened grass or slippage, no loose rocks. I mean, he didn't fall? In real life, a forensic scientist is impartial, but on television, they seem to sort of work in the pocket of the investigating officer and they almost seem to be directing the scientist and the scientist is giving them information in real time. You ask me, someone tried to make it look like an accident. I don't think he was up here. It's not my job to come up with theories and certainly the SIO's job is not to be wondering about a crime scene. Um, asking me what I think there and then, that would be an awful lot of unnecessary pressure and potential contamination. So no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs>